What's up guys, it's your super players back at it again with another deck profile and this time we got Pilaf and there we got there we have it. So this is pretty much the wish leader, the red one. We have the green one, now we have the blue uh the blue one, <laughs> the red one. And so let's get to it. So if you're new to the channel, be sure to be subscribed and hit that notification button so you guys can get all those super cool deck profiles and battles that me and C Rod do all the time. And alright, let's get to it. So, once per turn, when one of your battle uh, cards attack, it gets 5,000 power for duration of the turn, and then choose one Dragon Ball from your deck or life and add it to your hand. And then shuffle any areas that you looked at. And then when there are seven Dragon Balls uh, in your drop area, choose one Desire card from the drop area and add it to your hand and flip this guy over. So pretty generic, very similar to all the Wish Leaders, so you flip them over, you get a Desire card. And now, this is what he does. So, once per turn, you can do any of these effects, and if you don't know what Oolong does, this is what he does. Uh, choose one, draw one, or choose one red or black desire card in your hand with an energy cost less than or equal to your current energy and activate its effect, main skill. So you can play it for free. Or, last one is remove seven Dragon Ball cards in your drop area from the game. If you do draw three cards, choose one of your battle cards, it ga gains or it gets 15,000 power for duration of the turn and then flip this card at the end of the turn. So that's awesome. So pretty much you draw three cards. So there you guys have it. So this is Oolong, uh, the Pilaf version instead of the Goku. So this is what he does. So let's get to the deck profile. So since this is a wish mechanic, we have to run dragon, two, two Dragon Radars to help you search for your Dragon Balls or get your Dragon Balls from the drop area or a Desire card from the drop area, whichever you choose to do. But you got to add two of them. And there you guys have it. So we run two of, the, two of those and then we run two... Child's Wish because any Wish Leader you have to run Desire cards because it's essential. And then we have two World Peace to help you get any card that's happened to be equal um, level to your energy. And then you have your seven Dragon Balls guys. So pretty much just wanted to open up with the generic what uh, Wish Leaders need. So there we go. So let's get to the actual battle cards now. So here we go. So we do have four Fortune Teller, um, Earthseer. Baba, what's great about this card is when you uh, play this card, choose up to one of your Earthling battle cards, including your uh, leader area or battle area, and it gains 5,000 power for duration of the turn. And when you combo with this card from battle area, draw one card, and then choose one of your opponent's battle cards, and it, gain, it gets negative 5,000 for duration of the turn. So what makes this card so powerful is that you can do it during your offensive step or defensive step, and you get to draw one card, and since Oolong, is an earthling this goes off so you're able to do that little combo play right there and i think it's very powerful so i you should run these cards especially fortune teller baba she's so good for a red card especially for those red earthling uh decks and then we have your super combo uh sparking five master roshi uh when you have more than five you get to combo and draw a card and since you already have seven dragon balls in the drop area you're obviously going to do that quickly and there you go. So you get to use your super combos a lot quicker. And since so this is an Earthling deck, we gotta run obviously the one of the best uh, tournament pack cards for an Earthling deck is everybody's pal Yamcha. When this card attacks, look at the top three cards from the top of your deck and choose one Earthling card among them and add it to your hand and then shuffle your deck. So this pretty much helps you filter the deck. Not only that, helps you search out Dragon Balls if you need it later on because obviously you need to use it for this guy's effect and you pretty much get a 5k boost because of that. So he's a 20k to drop, pretty much. So that's so powerful. And you get to search out even your super combos. And then we obviously have to run Yamcha, which is the best, one of the best SRs in this set for red leaders. And we run three of these guys, so it's burst five. And if your leader card is red earth lane card, um, for the duration of the turn, this card gains 6,000 power. Can it have his attack negated and deals two damage to your opponent's life when it KOs a battle card. So this is phenomenal, great card, and if he KOs a battle card, you burn your opponent. And so we gotta run three of those bad boys. And since we do run a red leader, we gotta have our deadly defenders just in case for those aggro decks and you're about to die, you gotta use this guy because he pretty much in rest mode, they gotta get over it. Those storm decks gotta get over 15k or even anything that needs that's very aggressive, this kind of avoids your leader from being attacked. So we gotta run at least two, at least in my opinion. And so then we want to have a little bit more turn one place. We do run intensifying power trunks. He's crit, you take a life, he's crit. 
and he gains 10,000 power. And not only that, he's going to get that 5k boost with this leader. Like I keep saying, this leader gives that 5k boost. He becomes a 20k crit, and that's very dangerous for anybody to deal with, honestly. So nobody wants to be dealing with that nonsense right there. And so we run four of those guys, and since we run intensifying power trunks, we got to run the Evolve version chain attack trunks. And when you play this card, choose um, one battle card with 15 power, 1,000, 15 power or less and play it so that just extends your combo so we have to run that combo and so we got to show you what we run for the 15,000 power or less we do run two fearless pan because not uh, she gives double strike to all red uh, leader and battle cards and they gain 5,000 power so they be like I'm telling you if this card is not awakened it becomes a very big threat to your opponent because you bring her out for whatever reason, whether you did chain attack trunks or, sorry, chain attack trunks on top of that, or if you have a big field of uh, battle cards, this pretty much gives it 5k power and 15, uh, it gives it double strike. And even the police are trying to get this card because I'm telling you it's dangerous. And then we have Terror Assault Frost. Um, this card's amazing. It's pretty much gets rid of any de deadly defender that's on their side of the board because he KOs a battle card at the end of battle and not only that we do run a card that makes your opponent lose 5k in order to um, inflict burn damage to your opponent so it's kind of like a, a very aggressive deck I would say very aggressive and burn damage as well similar to Yamcha but Yamcha is just a lot more aggressive but then we do run the chain attack Zeno play so we could run, we could restart the field and the game state and since you might not have all your Dragon Balls, you want to be able to search it out with this guy. And this guy helps you like restart the game. And usually it's kind of hard to get the 7 Dragon Balls just because it's not Shenron. And it kind of like takes a little bit longer for you to get them in the drop area. So we run Zeno to restart the field and hopefully you draw into them and get rid of your opponent's battle cards too. So we run 3. Uh, it's very important to run 3 personally. And then we do run one Planet M2 because if your opponent still has, like you haven't been awakened yet, this continues to give your opponent pressure. And yeah, so we do that for that uh, fact. And then we run four After Image Negates because this guy is amazing. It gives 40k power during battle. Negates the, it doesn't negate the attack, but you get 40k power. So if they're trying to go for a game, this guy pretty much gives you that 40k boost that you don't have yet and then you do um, on top of this guy and it helps you out and you can play from your hand if you have sparking five for free and there you guys have it so this is the oolong deck I like it um, I wouldn't say it's the most meta leader out there but it's one of the most fun decks I've had uh, playtesting with uh, I'd rather play Yamcha but if you want to go with wish mechanic I say pick him up just for fun uh, but like I said it's not the most competitive deck it's fun, but you'll still get wrecked by Storm because Storm is just a pain in the butt and Shenron just wishes a lot faster personally. So it's kind of hard to keep up with the meta right now with this guy at least. But Chain Attack Zeno, still a phenomenal card and it kind of wrecks your opponent still anyway. So I say do it because Chain Attack is still a very powerful uh, combo and you could probably get some Ws with this in your locals honestly. But tweak it to your own playstyle. Let me know in the comment section below what you would add or take out. And there you guys have it from your host, Tony G. Y'all stay super.